In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we use the different types of the relational operators that are available to us in Microsoft Excel. Then we are going to use these same relational operators inside a built-in function of Microsoft Excel which is known as the IF function. Then we are also going to understand the functionality of the IF function and along with it analyze it in detail to generate the different kinds of the outputs. Using the if function we are going to generate three kinds of output that is the numerical output, the string output and the boolean output. So let us start with our tutorial. First of all uh, in front of my computer screen what I have got is a Microsoft Excel sheet which is named as data and uh, I have sorted it in the A to Z order with respect to the names. Now this is the sheet that I have got and I have downloaded it from the internet. So if you want you can just uh, download any kind of database for yourself from the internet. So first of all what we are going to do is um, just understand the usage of the different relational operators. Uh, in Microsoft Excel. So this usage we are going to understand is independent of this table that we have created. So just select a cell anywhere in your sheet and just I'm going to zoom in a little bit for a better look like this. Alright now if you want to just write anything in Microsoft Excel uh, any formula if you want to write then we know we have to first press on the equal sign. So just press on the equal sign. And now we want to check two values that whether 3 is greater than 2. So in that case we need to use relational operators. These operators are used to tell the relations between two values and that is why they are known as relational operators. So here we want to check if 3 is greater than 2. So here 3 and 2 are the two values. 3 and 2 are the two numerical values and this greater than sign is a relational operator which is used to tell the relation between them and as a simple calculation we know that 3 is greater than 2 so when we press enter it returns true which means yes the value 3 is greater than the value 2 so this is one relational operator if we just write it over here, so this is uh, what is known as greater than, it is a relational operator. Then another relational operator is the less than sign, which tells that whether a number is less than the other number or not. So if we write equals 2 less than 3, we want to check whether 2 is less than 3 and yes, the condition will evaluate to true because 2 is less than 3. Then there is another relational operator which is called greater than equals to and uh, another relational operator called less than equals to. So if we want to analyze its usage then just press equals 3 is greater than equals to 3 and as soon as we press enter we get the value as true means yes 3 is equals to 3. And similarly, the case with less than equals to is 2 less than equals to 4. So the condition would be true because 2 is less than 4. So these are the relational operators that um, we are going to use today. And um, it's their usage. It's very simple. Now let us jump into a built-in function of Microsoft Excel that is known as the if function. So suppose we just select this cell. Then come to the formulas tab and uh, here we click on insert function. Now here we uh, just type in if and click on go. Then we will get this if function. So I'm going to use this function. So just click on ok. So as soon as I click on this uh, menu, this kind of a menu is in front of me. Uh, and what it asks me, the first thing is a logical test. And this is the condition that you need to supply. This kind of condition is same as the conditions we just evaluated. That whether it can compare two values and return two possible values that is either true or either false. 
so we got to just pass any kind of condition to it so suppose if we pass 3 greater than 2 so this is our test condition and there are two possible conditions that whether its condition would be true or its condition would be false so now if its condition is true then what will it do it will simply write true as we saw in our case just now but if we want that instead of true we want the value as yes so we just type yes over here in value if true and if this condition is false then we want the answer as no then uh, we will write this value if false we will write no now when you do that you can see that the formula result is already evaluated as yes that means yes 3 is greater than 2 and as soon as we click on ok then on this particular cell yes is written so if we just click on this cell then in the formula bar you can just note this particular formula so this is the actual formula of the if function which is a built-in function in microsoft excel that first of all you type in equals then you write the keyword if open the parenthesis then provide it with a condition then put a comma and then provide with a value that needs to be displayed if the condition evaluates to true and then again put a comma and then provide it with a value that needs to be shown if the condition evaluates to be false and then close the parenthesis now notice that here we have used double quotes in the starting and at the end of these yes and no words and that is cause these are the string values so uh, any value if it is in a string format it needs to be enclosed in double quotes we just take it another cell we type in equals if open the parenthesis and here instead of the exact numbers what we need to do is uh, we need to provide the values or the contents of the cell so what will we do is just click on this cell suppose its value i need to evaluate so i just click on this cell its address would be written here and write is less than then i will click on this cell then i will put a comma if this condition evaluates to true then what value i need to show i need to show one and if this condition evaluates to false then what value do i need to show zero and then close the parenthesis so this is the complete expression of an if function in microsoft excel and once i write it i just press enter and this evaluates to be one this means the contents of h22 cell which is $15.99 are less than the contents of H26 cell which is $19.99 that's why I have got the answer as 1 now if I type any other condition like if open the parenthesis 4.99 is greater than this then in that case I want uh, 1 and otherwise I want 2 and then close the parenthesis so here we know that this condition will evaluate to be false and as soon as we hit enter we get the end result as zero so that is how the if function works in microsoft excel it requires three values first of all is the condition then is the value that you need it to show if the condition evaluates to true and then is the value you need it to show if the condition evaluates to false now one more thing uh, we have seen that how can the if condition provide us with um, the values which are string like yes or no and how it can provide us with the end result as numbers okay now what happens if we want to get our result in a form of a boolean value like true or false then what do we need to do is just press in the equal sign write in the keyword if open the parenthesis then provide it with the contents of two cells like 125 then less than the contents of this cell then press a comma and in the true value you simply write the word 
true and here we have not passed any of the double quotes which means this value would be treated as a boolean value then again add a comma and then write false without again passing on the double quotes means it would be treated as a boolean value and then close the parenthesis now as soon as you hit on enter then you get the result as false and this is a boolean value because you can notice its alignment it is in the center now instead of this expression if we write the same expression but the true and the false here we are writing in double quotes so what will happen now these true and false would be treated as simple string values instead of the boolean values and as soon as you close the parenthesis and hit enter then you can see the result is false but it is aligned to the left which means this is now being treated as a string value cause we put it the value inside the double quotes instead of the boolean value and here when we didn't put it in the double quotes then it's treated as a boolean value that is all in today's microsoft excel tutorial